In modern life, filled with stress and turmoil, we often get caught up in the whirlwind of negative emotions, anxiety and sadness. But did you know that more than 2,000 years ago, Stoic philosophers discovered golden principles to help people live peacefully and steadfastly, regardless of any challenges? Stoic philosophy teaches us that true strength does not come from controlling external circumstances, but from mastering our minds and emotions. When you learn to view obstacles as opportunities, no longer endure imaginary pains and accept the impermanence of life, you will find inner peace and unparalleled resilience. Are you willing to accept the challenge and discover the true power within yourself? Join me on a journey to explore these marvelous principles to learn how to act as if nothing can trouble you anymore. This is a philosophy and the key to unlocking a door leading to a happy and meaningful life. Get ready to change and become the strongest version of yourself. Number one, view obstacles as opportunities. Imagine life as a journey filled with twists, turns and obstacles. Can you see the opportunities for growth and development in each of these obstacles? Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, once said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. To illustrate this further, let us consider the life of Jesus, a model of overcoming hardship to bring light to humanity. Jesus not only endured betrayal and extreme pain, but also transformed those sufferings into opportunities to spread love and forgiveness. In his darkest moments, he taught us about the power of patience and forgiveness. He turned pain and death into symbols of hope and salvation. You can see the similarity with Stoic philosophy here, where adversity is not seen as punishment, but as an opportunity for inner growth. Ask yourself, the last time you faced a challenge, how did you react? Were you overwhelmed by it? or did you find a way to turn it into motivation to move forward? Stoic philosophy encourages us to look within and find the strength to transform obstacles into opportunities. This is how we not only survive, but live more robustly every day. Remember, every challenge you encounter is an opportunity for you to learn, grow, and become more resilient. As Marcus Aurelius said, Obstacles are not your enemies. They are teachers guiding you on how to overcome difficulties and find light even in the darkest moments. Embrace challenges with an open heart and a clear mind, and you will find that nothing can trouble you anymore. Number two, don't suffer imaginary pains. Have you ever wondered if the worries and pains you feel truly exist, or if they are merely products of your imagination? Stoic philosophy teaches us that much of our pain does not stem from actual events, but from our imagination. Think back to the times you worried about an exam, a meeting, or an important event. How often have we created terrible scenarios in our minds only to realize that reality was not as bad as we imagined? Jesus also taught, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. This advice emphasizes that we should not burden ourselves with things that have not yet happened. Imagine a farmer fearful every day about the upcoming harvest, drought, pests or crop failure. Does that fear help the crops grow better, or does it merely rob the farmer of joy and health? Think about how many times you have created unnecessary worries in your life, do these imaginary pains provide any real value? When facing difficult situations, instead of worrying about things that haven't happened, we should focus on the present and address immediate problems. Worrying about the future only diminishes our ability to enjoy the present moment. Recall the last time you felt anxious about something and then realized it was all in your imagination. That sense of relief when you understand nothing terrible happened is truly precious. 
Instead of letting imaginary pains control you, focus on what you can control. When you feel anxious or distressed, ask yourself, is this happening or is it just my imagination? Asking these questions helps you see more clearly and recognize that many fears are merely illusions. Seek the truth and let reason guide you. Life becomes much easier when we let go of baseless worries, live fully in the present and face challenges with courage. Stoic philosophy and the teachings of Jesus not only help us realize this, but also guide us on how to live a meaningful and peaceful life. Next, let us move on to secret number three in our journey of discovering and conquering our best potential. But first, I have a question for you. Have you ever wondered why we stubbornly cling to things that do not last forever? This question invites us to discuss secret number three, acceptance of impermanence. Number three, embrace impermanence. Life is like a river, always flowing and never stopping. Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, once said, Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. This reminds us that our perceptions can change, and we should accept that change as a natural part of life. Impermanence is not only limited to external changes, but also includes the transformations within our minds and emotions. There are days when you feel happy, and there are days when you feel sad, and all these emotions are part of life. Jesus also taught us to accept and face change. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. This means that we must seek strength from faith and knowledge to confront impermanence. Think about moments in your life when everything changed unexpectedly. It could be a loss or it could be a success. How did you cope with those changes? Do you find yourself becoming stronger after overcoming difficulties? When we accept impermanence, we can find peace and learn to see every change as an opportunity for growth. Impermanence also gives us the chance to appreciate the present moment. When you know that nothing lasts forever, you will cherish more the moments with family, friends, and life experiences. Ask yourself, can you accept change and find peace in understanding that everything is temporary? When you accept impermanence, you will begin to see life as lighter and more meaningful. We will no longer fear loss or change, but instead live each moment fully with gratitude and love. In summary, accepting impermanence is not just a philosophy of life, but also an art that helps us find serenity and joy in each day. Let Stoic philosophy and the teachings of Jesus guide you on this path. You will find peace and strength in your soul by accepting that everything changes, and it is this change that creates the wondrous beauty of life. Number four, master the art of detachment. Our lives are often filled with situations beyond our control, loss, failure, and unforeseen challenges. However, what truly matters is how we react and handle these situations. Letting go does not mean shirking responsibility or indifference. It means recognizing our limits and not letting things beyond our control affect our happiness. Jesus also taught us about letting go and trusting in God. Cast your burden on the Lord and He will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. This encourages us to place our trust and hope in higher powers, helping us free ourselves from unnecessary worries and burdens. When we cling to things we cannot change, we create our suffering. Think about a relationship that has ended, a job that was lost, or an opportunity that has passed. Do you need to carry these burdens with you, or can you let go to open yourself up to new and better things? Consider a situation in your life where you were obsessed with something beyond your control. It could be a relationship that ended, an opportunity that passed, or a mistake from the past. 
Have you ever wondered if holding on to these things brings you happiness? Marcus Aurelius, in his work, Meditations, wrote, That which is not good for the beehive cannot be good for the bees. This reminds us that we are part of a whole, and we must learn to let go of what is not good for our soul and the community around us. Practice the art of letting go by asking yourself, Is this important? Is it within my control? If the answer is no, allow yourself to let go and focus on what you can control and improve. In this way, you will find inner peace and true freedom. Mastering the art of letting go not only helps us face loss and change more easily, but also allows us to live a fuller life. When you let go, you will find freedom and the ability to focus on what truly matters in life. Jesus and the Stoic philosophers have shown us the path to peace and tranquility through letting go. This is a valuable lesson we should remember and apply daily. Are you ready to master the art of letting go and find true peace in your soul? If you are ready, leave a comment saying, Mastering the art of letting go to show your determination to change, and let's discuss how we can apply Stoic philosophy to build a better life. Remember, in every challenge, there is an opportunity for those who know how to seize it. Number 5. Practice Daily Reflection Have you ever paused at the end of the day to reflect on what has happened, on your actions, thoughts and emotions? Daily reflection is a core principle of Stoic philosophy, helping us to reassess ourselves, learn from experiences and improve every day. Daily reflection helps us face our mistakes, recognize our strengths and weaknesses, and find ways to better ourselves. When we take the time to reflect, we not only review what we have done, but also gain a deeper understanding of our nature, creating opportunities for change and growth. Imagine spending a few minutes each night writing in a journal, noting down what you experienced, what you did well, and what needs improvement. Do you think this would help you become more aware and conscious of your thoughts and actions? Marcus Aurelius himself practiced this by writing in his book, Meditations. He recorded his thoughts, advice and reflections on how to live a more virtuous life. Reflecting each day, he could better himself and understand the essence of Stoic philosophy. Jesus also reminded us of the importance of self-reflection. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. This act of praying alone can be seen as a form of self-reflection, contemplating oneself and communicating with the inner self and the divine. Daily reflection gives us the chance to correct our mistakes and become better versions of ourselves. Ask yourself at the end of each day, What did I learn today? How did I react to events? How can I improve tomorrow? These simple questions will guide you to a more mindful and conscious life. Reflecting helps us recognize that life is a journey of continuous learning and growth. We will find peace, joy and wisdom to cope with any challenges along this journey. Start practicing today. Spend five to ten minutes at the end of each day reflecting on your actions, thoughts and feelings. You will discover the power of change and growth. Let Stoic philosophy and the teachings of Jesus guide you on this journey. You will find the peace and inner strength needed to become the best version of yourself. Number 6. Practice Gratitude Gratitude is not merely a virtue. It is a way of life that can bring joy and satisfaction to each day. Practicing gratitude helps us recognize the abundance and joy in our lives, allowing us to live more fully and happily. Gratitude reminds us that life is a precious gift, and every moment is an opportunity to feel love, compassion and joy. Imagine starting your day with gratitude for the blessings you have received, do you think this could change your mood and energy for the whole day? Stoic philosophers emphasize the importance of gratitude in daily life. Marcus Aurelius wrote, 
When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. This is a reminder to cherish every moment, every breath, and every experience. Jesus also taught about gratitude. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. This highlights that gratitude should not be conditional, but a constant state of mind, helping us find peace and joy even in the most challenging situations. Practicing gratitude can transform your life. Instead of focusing on what you lack, you will appreciate what you have. Instead of feeling down about what you haven't achieved, you will find joy in your achievements. Start each day by listing three things you are grateful for. These could be small things, like a warm cup of tea or the love of family and friends. Focusing on gratitude helps us see life more positively and find more happiness in the simple things. Try it today and see the difference it makes. Practicing gratitude not only helps us live more happily, but also builds resilience and strength to face challenges. When we are grateful, we are not easily shaken by difficulties. We can find strength in our inner selves to overcome all obstacles. Let gratitude guide you, and you will find the joy and peace that Stoic philosophers and Jesus taught. You will discover the power of gratitude and how it can transform your life. Now, let us reflect on these six secrets. Which one resonates with you the most? Which do you feel most connected to? And which one do you think will help you change your life and become a stronger version of yourself? Remember, Stoic philosophy and the teachings of Jesus are not just theories. They are practical guides to help us live better and find peace in every moment. You have the power to change your life. Accept the challenge and start applying these principles today. You will find that nothing can trouble you anymore and you will live a truly happy and meaningful life.